Good morning. I'm having, well, it's actually almost good afternoon. It's 11.58 a.m. right now, so we are approaching the afternoon. Uh, kind of a later start to the vlog today because I just came downstairs and immediately started importing my footage and my memory card was in my computer. Blah, 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 blah. Just put it back in my camera and here I am. Day nine is currently exporting. I am about to go over to Oya's house to pick up a Christmas present for Mr. Finley. And I'm so excited to show it to you guys. I think I might just show it to you and like hope and pray to God that nobody spoils this for Finley because she has been working on this for I don't know, three months. I told her like at least two or three months ago that I wanted to do this and I sent her the photos over to paint and bring to life as a gift for Finley and they've been drying in her house for a while so I'm gonna go and pick those up from her, check my mailbox and take Rue out all at the same time. And also she told me that she has some snacks for the hogs <laughs> so I said, Okay, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just gonna leave this to export and head over there now. You're such a good, good girl in your crate. Really good girl. Even hanging out in there with the door open. You're awesome, Miss Rue. Come on, let's go do some business. Come on, Mrs. Doodle. <laughs> yeah, big stretch. <laughs> wow, the crows are pretty loud. Go ahead, Larry. Come on, Rue. Larry likes to go down his own way and jump off the front porch. Wow. Hi. Yeah, I have trees. Look at this. Yeah. That was so nice of Olya to give you some some mandarins and some old squash. Wow. Really nice treat, girls. Okay, we're gonna go inside now. Come on, little peanut head. There she goes, a peanut on the run. Come on! Okay, we're back inside and I'm gonna show you them. Oh, Miss Peachy Pie. Insane, Miss Ducky Wucky. <laughs> so cute, Mrs. Rue. <laughs> her detail on her face, it's making me lose my mind. All of it is just insane. But something about Rue's stupid face in that photo is just so cute. And then speaking of stupid faces, wow, Mr. Larry. Talk about getting a boogie out of your nose, huh? I cannot believe these images. I'm gonna put them like in a two by two. So all together they'll look like this on the wall when they're hung up and stuff. But obviously we'll get to that when the day comes. And until then, she told me to stack them with parchment paper in between so that they don't like stick to each other, you know? And I just like, I cannot believe that this is real life. I've wanted to do this since I saw Olya doing pet portraits last Christmas. You guys can follow her at Olya's Creations on Instagram. She is such a talented artist. I go to her paint nights all the time in my town because she hosts them at a bar around. And we'll just go and follow like a template with her and she'll lead a class. And she obviously lets people like commission her to do pieces. She's painted people's weddings. She's painted people's like engagement photos onto canvas and just makes everything come to life. And she was doing a lot of pet portraits last holiday season and I saw them and I was like, oh my God, next Christmas, I know what I'm getting Finley. <laughs> and so I wanted to do the four in our family and I'm just so happy with everything. Thank you so much, Olya, if you're watching this. Love you so much. So appreciative. Oh my God. So everybody please go and follow her. She's my talented queen. <laughs> I don't know if you guys watch Carrie Rad on here, but she just sent me her beautiful, look at these gold ass flowers, her beautiful save the date for marrying the love of her life, Mr. Alex. 
Alex the Vagabond. I don't know if you guys watch either of them on YouTube, but I first met Carrie at a Buffer Festival, and it's so funny because we actually were in the same collab channel, but at different times. If you guys remember when I was in Just Like That, my friend Alex Adubs and I got uh, released, if you will, from the channel, and then they like recasted some folks, and Carrie was one of them, and then at Buffer Festival one year, I went up to my friend Raya, Raya was here on YouTube, and Carrie was hanging out next to her and she was like, oh my God, yeah, like you guys have never met, let me introduce you guys. So I met her then. And I do think that she was with Alex then. And I remember it was the same year that him and his brother, they have a YouTube channel called um, The Vaga Brothers. They won an award for what they premiered at Buffer Festival. And I never got to meet him, but I did meet Carrie. <laughs> so it's funny that I'm going to their wedding and I've never met Alex before, but I am planning on attending their wedding in 2020 in May because Finley's brother-in-law, Alex, is there's so many Alex's going back and forth, but I'm talking about someone else. His brother-in-law is trying to put on a play for May of 2020 as well. So I'm hoping that these dates coordinate together to where we can just do one big trip, go see the play, attend the wedding, see friends, all the above. So right now we're planning on doing an LA trip in May. That's just the rough idea, you know? Oh, sweet. Awesome, I got something else. Let me unbox this for you guys. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put this on right now. Do you guys watch Haley Blay on YouTube? She released these seven inch vinyl with her new band, Babe Corner. So when I saw that she released these, I was like, fuck yeah, I'll get Haley on vinyl. Are you kidding? Her new band? Nobody puts baby in a corner. Their album is called Alone at the Party. And I believe I got this on Bandcamp, something of the sort, who knows? I just realized I really need to to uh, dry shampoo my bangs because I'm looking like a grease ball. But I'm gonna go and put this on my record player because I don't own many seven inch vinyl. I think I actually only own one, Prima Donna from Vince Staples. Anyways, let's play this. Is this a seven inch or is this a four inch? Yeah, we get it, you can squeak the thing, yeah. It's a little two-songer. This seriously looks so fucking cute with the sunflower little mat in the back, the record mat. Hey, yeah, we get it, we get it. She is ruining my music experience. Just kidding, it's not even playing yet. All right, I got a big old bag and a box of Depop orders to ship out. And I'm in my car. <laughs> So many of you, I forgot to answer this in yesterday's day nine, but in my date day vlog, I got a bunch of comments that were like, what happened to your car? Why are you driving Finley's? Is Minty okay? And I'm like, yeah, Minty's fine. It's just that here, the short answer is that his car has lights that I can turn on in it. This car has no lights in the cab at all. Also, he gets two miles better gas mileage than me. My car gets the shittiest gas mileage in the whole entire world, so I really don't like to take it on like very long excursions all the time. It's more of like my errand running pleasure vehicle, if that makes sense. But when Minty dies, we're gonna have her just on our property as like farm decor because she's gorgeous and I'll, I'm never gonna sell it, you know? So that's my shorter answer, kind of long answer of why I drive Finley's car when I can. Oil spells are so pretty, but they at heart are very ugly. Okay, I just sent off seven of your Depop orders and now I'm about to head home. Finley wanted to send something to Aiden and he put it in an express envelope and I was like, are you sure you want this to go express? It's pretty expensive. And he was like, how expensive? I was like, I don't know, it's a lot. And he was like, oh, it's already in there. Just send it that way. And then when I go up, <laughs> My man at the post office, Chauncey, he was like, are you sure you want to send this express? It's gonna be like $30. And I was like, you know what? No, no. I'll be coming back later with more stuff anyways. So I'm just gonna repackage it because that is way too much. Holy shit. Also, while I was sending all of that stuff off just now, there was three people waiting in line behind me. And I was like, guys, I got seven packages here. Like I have a lot. Are you sure you don't want to cut me? And of course, everybody in Oregon is just so nice. They were like, no, no, go ahead, go ahead. And I'm like, okay. Okay. because normally I would just weigh these at home or I would just package them in these flat rate envelopes that you can order online so 
I would know how much everything was and I would print the labels at home, but our printer is currently broken. So this all being said, I had to write, I have to handwrite all of the addresses for the Depop orders out and then he has to hand enter them in instead of me just bringing these here and dropping everything off, you know, and then just leaving and having it paid for. And he has to weigh them and do all of that whole thing. So. I was just like, are you guys sure? And I was just so apologetic when I left. I was like, thank you sirs for waiting for me. Thank you ma'am at the back, thank you. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go home, package more, and then come back and I'm gonna go in like little spurts as it's dying down and whatnot because I just don't wanna keep people waiting with like seven packages at once. I think I'm gonna go in like five spurts just to be mindful about how much time I'm taking compared to everybody else. Is that silly of me? I don't know. I definitely can't keep driving home and coming back because that is wasteful as fuck, but I just wanted to kind of like test this first time coming out here and seeing how much time it would take, if that makes sense, to enter them all in. Anyways, I'm talking too much. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> second depop drop off of the day is done praise the lord oh my god again a line of people behind me i felt so bad i was just like ah, eh, sorry ah. but it had to be done so those are all sent off everybody who ordered up to today minus two because two of them i packed into these like eco mailers and i have an impulse sealer to seal off all of the plastic ones that i have and i thought that i could also impulse seal the compostable ones the ones that say i'm a real dirt bag and they're black and then i tried to impulse seal one i think i vlogged it and it literally melted onto the pants so now i have to deal with just the fact that I'm a fucking idiot and got that melted material on there I'm gonna see if I can get it out and if I can't then I'll have to refund the order or see if she still wants them for a discount I don't even fucking know I don't know and then the other one that's in there I was like oh I'm not doing that again so I had to repackage it but I knew I would be late to the post office before it closed if I repackaged it so I just left it so to the person who bought the lilac drop crotch pants from tree of life I'm sorry, but they have a black smear on them. Lo siento. I'm gonna go home now. Finley's napping at home because he had to wake up so early for work and he's so exhausted. So I'm probably just gonna go home and make us some dinner and wake him up from his nap and all that good stuff. Look at the fire station, that's so cute. I'm having some leftover soup for dinner and I literally made this over a week ago, a week and two days ago. Good girl eating in your crate. Good girl. It's still just as good as it was on the first day of Vlogmas. <laughs> it is. I don't know. I'm not paying with you. I'm a bee. <laughs> Maybe this thing isn't on? Oh, it's well, on. Hi. Here's a freshman survival guide. You're crazy. You You're crazy cute. You. Wow, kind of a sweet girl tonight. Kind of a sweet girl every night. I honestly just got bored as fuck. I was watching Atypical and then I was just like, it's literally 7 p.m. Like, I normally do this late at night and I'm not gonna spend the next X amount of hours just watching TV when I could make cookies. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm making super soft molasses cookies from thesaltymarshmallow.com. <laughs> And one of you sent in this recipe to me on Twitter. I tweeted for your favorite holiday cookie recipes probably like a week or so ago. And I haven't made any of them yet, so I'm gonna start with this one because I already have all the stuff. Let's go. The dough looks so good. I'm gonna, sorry if you can hear Rue playing with a bone in the background. I'm gonna link the recipe down below, obviously. But just doing a little coating in some sugar.
Okay, the first batch is out, so I'm gonna do a little taste test, but they look so good. They look like nice and crispy on the outside, you know, but they're really soft on the middle. Mm hmm Delicious. These are pretty good, but I would say that I found this molasses cookie recipe on all recipes, and I really, really liked those. And I think I liked them more than these, but Molasses cookies are good in any form, honestly. They're just kind of like a more spiced tasting sugar cookie, but I'll link both recipes down below. You can make either or and be the judge for yourselves. <laughs> but that being said, I'm still gonna eat these because they're very good. Do you guys have an overwhelming abundance of supplements that you take every day too? Because I take six of these. I know the cabinet in itself looks overwhelming, but I'm gonna do my routine now. Because I realized I do this every day and I never show it on Vlogmas. <laughs> Probiotic. d manos Magnesium. Oh, one magnesium on the floor means that one's for me. B-complex. Lactobacillus acidophilus. Vitamin D3. And then I do it all at once. Well, the recipe weighed, made way more than two dozen. It made like two dozen and eight or something, probably about 32 of those bad boys. And I've already eaten four. They're very yummy. <laughs> Just ignore her, Larry, maybe she'll go away. Time has come again. Yes. Bon appetit. Okay, sorry for the pitter patter of my leaky faucet in my bathtub, but I have this really bad underground zit right here, so I'm just gonna do a face mask just for good measure, you know? But I'm gonna wash my face first and then put her on. She's almost done, so I figure I should use it up. I'm gonna go watch my shows now, looking like the Grinch. <laughs> Tomorrow. Okay, apparently two glasses of wine makes me forgetful, so <laughs> I forgot to end off the vlog last night. I took off my face mask and I watched Atypical in bed and I fell asleep doing so. <laughs> so my apologies for the morning end off, but that's okay. I'm gonna edit this vlog now, so if you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Ring the notifications bell if you'd like to be notified when I upload. You can become a patron of mine to support my earnings for this month. Anyways, on that note, stay smiling. See you in today's vlog. <laughs>